What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I'm going to share my unique weapon guide for Sito's Shiny Slugger, a super powerful baseball bat. In this video, we'll look at where you can find this weapon, how it can be modded, and my overall thoughts on the bat. If you haven't gone to the Safari Adventure Zone of Nuka World yet and want to avoid spoilers, this is not the video to watch. There will be spoilers for Safari Adventure starting now. In order to get the Shiny Slugger, you will essentially need to complete the entire quest line in Safari Adventure, and that involves helping Sito. So once you enter this zone, you will meet Sito. He does not speak very good English. I believe he was raised by apes or something along those lines. And so he has a very broken English kind of uh, speak to him. And also he looks just like Cal Drogo, which is fantastic. But anyways, you essentially need to help Sito take back Safari Adventure from all of the Gator Claws. There's an infestation there's like 25 of them it's an insane amount of them and so you need to take back Safari Adventure by doing that going through a little bit of a quest line and also getting rid of Sito that's a big thing because as you know with the Raider gangs your job is to clear out all of these zones and kind of divide them among the game so first you have to help Sito and then you have to get rid of him Fortunately, this is a very straightforward quest line. It is literally just following Sito around Safari Adventure, doing all these quests for him and helping him take back the area. And so basically a quick rundown of that is you're gonna go to his area where his family is, which are a bunch of gorillas. I'm just gonna say Harambe right now because I know it's gonna be mentioned in the comments. There are a bunch of Harambe's here. Sito's gonna give you a hollow tape that's gonna tell you exactly, you know, what the source of these gator claws is. And so you're gonna go around the park killing a bunch of gator claws, uh, getting some, you know, terminal passwords to get into doors, lifting security lockdowns, finding scientists, all kinds of stuff like that. But along the way, you are killing a ton of gator claws. So bring a ton of ammunition. They're not too tough. As a level 30 something, I was able to kill a lot of level 40 gator claws pretty easily. As well, if you have gauge, it makes it so much easier because you have Cedo and gauge being able to tank these enemies while you're able to kill them. Once you finish some of the more specific objectives, your final objective is to clear the entire zone of Gator Claws. You'll have 20 or so to kill. And so after you've done that, Cedo will talk to you. He'll say thank you. And then this is the point in which you need to tell him either to leave or to stay and cooperate with the Raiders. I believe you have to pass a charisma check in order to convince him to stay. But either way, you're going to get Cedo's shiny slugger. As you can tell, we're dealing with a very slow but very powerful melee weapon here in a bat and also 75 damage is just the base damage this is not a melee character but you will see gameplay and the modding that I'm gonna show you in a second where I do have you know some melee based perks however the big thing about this weapon is the legendary modifier which refills your action points on a critical hit that's a great modifier if you've already invested in a bunch of agility and luck perks because all of those synergize together. When you're getting critical hits, you're refilling your action points and that just feeds into itself over and over and over and the potential is really high with this weapon. In terms of modding options, this baseball bat has a lot of different things going for it. Already we have the spiked rocket mod and also the bat is aluminum, which already you know gives you a boost in damage. If you invest in melee base perks, you're already above 300 damage. But once you go further down the tree and you have things like blacksmith and science for example you can put a different modified version of this rocket like the searing puncturing rocket or the shocking puncturing rocket so i went ahead and put the searing on there and you get some additional energy damage on top of the damage already that puts you above 400 which is just very 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 strong and so in the second mod slide of course you can change you know whatever the bat is made out of you got some wood options some aluminum option but also you have some weighted options so i went ahead and did the weighted yellow option that further increased my damage almost to 500 if you count both the energy and the normal damage together so what's the verdict on this weapon does this stack up to other very strong powerful slow weapons like adam's judgment or if you're going back to the vanilla game you know some really good souped up you know sledgehammer does this stack up and i think it really does the legendary modifier is super powerful it's better than adam's judgment in my opinion in terms of that modifier that modifier is so good and if you focus on an agility luck based you know melee character build if you incorporate stealth in there you're gonna be one shotting a ton a ton of stuff I'm not even using blitz in this gameplay and it's doing a fairly good job and I mean these are you know mid tier level enemies they are not super high I am a high level when I'm recording this because I had to go ahead and nab all of those perks but you're gonna be able to handle a lot of things that are your level and you're gonna crush through things that aren't your level with this weapon it really is that good 
I don't know if we can quite crown it the best weapon in the game yet just because of how powerful the Krem's tooth is and it also is a medium speed weapon this is a slower speed so as you can see right there I kind of struggled there I got interrupted because it is a slow speed so if you do focus on vats and also a blitz kind of play style and you're sneaking around then speed really doesn't matter with a melee weapon so if you do look at it from that perspective this is certainly contending for one of the best melee weapons in the game but it's really up to play style if you do if you are okay with a slower weapon if you're okay with that and dealing a ton of damage if you get the right perks then Cedo's shiny slugger is a really really powerful weapon totally worth your time of course if you go through safari adventure you're going to get it no matter what i don't know if there's any option you can tell Cedo where you don't get his weapon and so anyways guys that was Cedo's shiny slugger i want to hear from you guys what do you feel about this weapon is this you know the most powerful weapon in the game in your opinion is this something you're actually going to go for in the dlc and use let me know what you guys are doing in the comment section below all right guys today i shared my unique weapon guide for Cedo's shiny slugger in the nuka world dlc pack next time we will cover more nuka world on my channel so stay tuned for fallout 4 tips and tricks videos if you learned something new or enjoyed this video remember to hit that like button i would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for more nuka world coverage my nuka world daily streams and general tips and tricks videos talk to you guys next time peace